Hi guys, welcome to the next episode in the series Quran Logics, where I take a very quick look at the logics used and deployed in the Islamic Quran. And in this video, I'm going to look at some basic arithmetic fractions. In the Quran, there's hardly anything that is explicit or precise in the form of instructions for anything. And if there are, they're faulty and wrong. Now, why can't a God do basic arithmetic? Really? Take the Quran chapter 4 and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, women are, as we know from chapter 2, a degree below the man. And here in chapter 4, this is extended even further, as a man can marry four women. But not the other way around, because the man is the main thing. Now, this is also reflected in what happens when this man dies. Like, as a principle, women will get half of what a male counterpart will inherit. A further problem is the inability of this perfect and all-knowing God to get the basic fractions right, which you do find in the Quran. Like take for example, I mean, let's create a very simple one. A man, he, he dies and he leaves his three daughters, both his parents and a single wife. Not too difficult, is it? So does this very simple example add up according to the instructions and the logic found in the Quran? No. Why? Or oh, why not, I should ask. Okay, here we have the three paragraphs where Allah, the you know, God uh, in, in Islam, gives the following rules in you know, dividing up the inheritance, the fara'id of the estate. Now you have 411, 412, then you have a whole lot of other sentences, and then somehow, oh, we forgot about something. They, they will ask thee for a pronouncement. So in the last sentence, in chapter 4, this was added. You have some more rules. So let's select from this, well, these three paragraphs, the three sentences applicable for this extremely basic and simple example. So if the woman, women are above two, yep, there's three here, three daughters, then for them, two thirds of what he leaves. Okay, so there's three daughters. His parents, one of each, yep, each one of the two, a sixth of what he leaves. Okay, if he has children. We have three daughters, so this applies. And if you have children, and this is for the wives, okay, then for them of what you have, leave an eighth. Now here I've made it very easy. This is only a single wife. He doesn't have four wives. He only has one. So there's only one eighth of the estate to be attributed. So let's do the maths. Let's do the fractions. Let's take a look at them. So the daughters, it's two thirds. Parents, one sixth. And the wife, one eighth. So Let's go, and, well, first put them into six and then into 48 <laughs> so that you can actually add them. So you have 32 48 and you have 16 48 and four 48 or 66.666 of the estate and 33.3333 of the estate and 12.5% of the estate. And if you add that up, you get 52 48 or 112.5% of 100% of the estate. Oops, is that logical? Is that befitting a perfect, all-knowing creator God? You tell me.